Aquí en Auto 060 y vamos directamente a los test drive de esta semana. Vamos a hablar con el diseñador y uno de los responsables de la tecnología del Chevy Impala 2014. Y más adelante con John Craftship, presidente de la Hyundai sobre la nueva Hyundai Santa Fe 2013. John, thank you very much for having us here with the, with the new baby, the new Impala, your new um, piece of art, we could say, right? Well, thank you. I mean, it's great being out here in San Diego. And, uh, of course, we're at Jonathan Siegel's uh, awesome car museum. And... We've got a couple of vintage Impalas here, and we got our new Impala here as well. The new Impala that is truly new in every sense from the, the one the outgoing model, the 2013. Uh, this Impala has a whole new level of everything in, in design and technology and performance and everything, but you're in charge of design, of course, right? So tell us a little bit about the philosophy into developing this iconic name with the Chevrolet brand and like how to bring it back to its, its glory. I mean, I'm saying the Boston was bad, but this is like so much different, so much better in every sense. Yeah, I think I think you hit it right on the head about bringing the Impala nameplate uh, back to a level of, uh, you know, historic glory, if you will, or iconic uh, uh, status. And, um, you know, the way you do that is you just have to do a great, great design that's head turning, that has the right features and finish. And, uh, you know, we started off with a great proportion to work with. So the designers like that when we start clean sheet of paper. Yeah. Great proportion. And then uh, just an absolute keen eye for sculpture, for beauty and detail, and then uh, knowing the right features, the right technologies for a Chevrolet. Yeah, and that's very challenging nowadays, right? It's uh, trying to match uh, modern uh, design with modern technology that changes. Design doesn't change that fast, but technology changes like ultra fast. I think when we when we put pen to paper on this car, I asked the, the team to think about what this car will be in 30 years from now, 25 years ago. It's got to be a modern classic and a car that uh, will certainly look at home in, in Jonathan's garage uh, 20 years from now, along with these other great cars. Yeah, this is the example you have here. Uh, we have here two models, right? We have uh, the Coupe. Yep. And that's what, from what, from what years? Yeah, that's uh, the 1964 Impala, uh, an absolute classic, certainly 65, 66, 67. Yeah, but almost 50 years old, that it looks yeah, it fantastic. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, and then we have a black 58 convertible, which I would love to have out here on the, on the, on the road today, so uh, turquoise and white, absolutely. And as you were saying, these cars are like almost 50 years old, but they look fantastic nowadays, so yeah. that's what the, the thinking behind doing the new Impala. Absolutely, you know, level of craftsmanship, detail, uh, you know, you walk around all these cars, including our new car, you can see just the passion and the attention and the ownership of, of everybody that's touched every part of them. Yeah. And um, since we have a convertible here, I don't know if you're in the freight office speaking around. <laughs> Are we going to see a new convertible in power? Well, I don't know. Anything's possible with the GM Global Design. But, you know, this car, now we're going to get it out. And some of the specialty uh, body coach builders, will, yeah. I mean, their imagination, they can, they can do incredible things. So, hey, four-door convertible in power? I'm why why for not? It. I'm for it. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much for your time for having us here. And uh, we're going to keep enjoying uh the old ones and the new ones, and like maybe we come back here maybe in 30, 30 years to yeah. see the yeah, 2014. We, it will be out, but anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us today. It's just great uh, being here with you. Thank you very much, John. Yeah. Y después de hablar con John Caparo, el responsable de diseño, vamos ahora con Jeff Massimila, que habla de la tecnología del Impala 2014. So Jeff, uh, thank you for having us here in San Diego with the new Impala, completely new Impala. I mean, just a look or feel or drive or do anything like the old Impala, right? No, it's a fabulous new car, Javier. Thank you for taking the time to, to look at the car. Um, we're really excited about what we have here. We have some great technology, great ride and handling. It's a uh, um, really exciting time for Chevrolet, for sure. So you, um, more than the design or the, um, the, the mechanics of it, you're more involved with the technology of the car, which is pretty amazing. You got it. I have responsibility for the next generation MyLink system. We bring a lot of great technology from being able to pair up the 10 Bluetooth devices and quickly switch between them. We integrate your media selections into it. We have natural language voice recognition. We have a lot of great technology packed into the system. Give the customer a lot of control, a lot of customization, um, and, and they're just really excited about it. Yeah. And uh, this is really the, the first uh, car that has this new technology uh, within the Chevrolet brand, right? Yeah, this is the first vehicle launch of the next generation of MyLink. We have MyLink out on the roads today. 
this vehicle brings in some more technology, this natural language voice recognition, and just some more control and customization that the customer didn't have before. Beyond that, that nice hidden storage bin behind the screen with the great USB port, you can stick your phone in there and uh, and use this. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about that, because that's a super cool uh, feature that I've never seen in any other car actually. Yeah, really exciting. So we, got this, we have this new system that allows us to get storage in the place where you really want it, which is right in front of you. We and the people yeah. know it's there. Exactly, it's, it's hidden and it's, it's securable through this valet mode. It, it, it's a motorized bin, the, 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 the screen comes up, you got a lighted lock storage bin, USB port back there. We encourage you to pair your phone, connect up your Apple device for music, stick it in that bin, and then use the controls we give you through the steering wheel controls with the cluster, the 8-inch display, vibrant 8-inch display, or the um, um, natural language voice recognition to control everything on your phone. Do it safely while you're driving down the road, but still keep your connected light to the car. Yeah. And then the lock, uh, the valet function, so you, lo you it's basically a safe, a safe uh, box, right? It really is. Very similar to a hotel safe. You know, type in the four-digit code twice so you don't forget it. Um, and you can secure your valuables in there. The other thing that we have is we lock out all the information in the infotainment system. So your phone contacts and phone numbers, they aren't accessible to the valet when you hand over your keys. So you've got your secure storage and your security from your privacy of your content that are on your devices. Yeah, it's amazing how much technology can be in a car. And like, uh, the, the most amazing thing, I guess, is like, I was going to be in the car in five, ten years. Can you tell, wow. can you tell anything? Man, I just, oh, you can. I, I mean, you, you don't know, right? You're right. I wish I could speculate. I mean, in this area moves so fast, and uh, it's a really exciting space to be in. Uh, we always try to, you know, think about what's out there in the future. We protect our systems and make them upgradable and updatable um, to make sure we can keep the car relevant for the customer and, and keep the car exciting and give them more value the longer they own it. But like you said, I mean, it is moving fast, and you really never know what's coming. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, and again for having us here uh, driving the new Impala, which is great. And uh, this is like the this completes the the. The, the, the renewal of all the vehicles in the Chevrolet brand, right? Because they have the Cruze, they have the Spark, they have the Scion, they have the Impala, and now the, I mean, the, the Malibu, I'm sorry, and now the, the Impala. No, you're correct. This does round out our passenger car lineup, and it's a great, it's a great flagship, exciting entry into that uh, that family. So thank you so much for spending the time. Great, thank you. Thank you. Bueno, del Impala 2014, vamos a hablar ahora con John Crafty, presidente de la Hyundai, con quien estuvimos en San Diego para la test drive de la nueva Hyundai Santa Fe 2013. So here with uh, John Crawford, thank you for having us here in California in a new vehicle for Hyundai. Great to be here, Javier. You know, we're very excited about the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe. It's a six and seven passenger version of the Santa Fe Sport that we launched earlier this year. Which uh, is doing great, I, I heard, right? Like, the whole company's doing great, but that car in particular. It's doing gangbusters, yeah. It's our, it's our fastest selling car right now, the Santa Fe. Um, we're up something like 30% over the same period last year. And if you just look at February, our Santa Fe sports sales are up 80% at retail over the prior car. So a lot of interest in the car. Um, it seems to be working well for, for small families and people who are in their post-family stage. And uh, overall, uh, the inventory days is very short, like 39 days? Yeah, for Hyundai brand as a whole, we're just 39 days. We're the third fastest turning brand in the entire industry. The industry is around 60 days. Uh, we're at 39, which is great. That's great. Uh, so this car, the new Santa Fe, uh, with the third row uh, of seats, it's um, a replacement, not a replacement, it's a completely new front car than the Veracruz. The Veracruz is gone. Yeah, Veracruz is gone, and it, and it did its service well. I think our insight was that consumers just wanted a bigger version of the Santa Fe. They didn't necessarily want one with a lot of extra stuff or making it premium. They just wanted more space. And so what we've done with the Santa Fe is made a six or seven passenger version of the Santa Fe Sport that's got a third row seat and a longer wheelbase, a little more rear overhang, so there's more room for people and more room for cargo, but the price is very similar, very reasonable. Yeah, but speaking about that, I was, um, the, the car that I drove, it has like the top of the leg, and it's around 3,400, 34,000, I mean, yeah, that's like half of the other brands that are in the similar position, seven, seven seating and all that, but this Does, car for 35,000, let's say, yeah. yes, everything Does that you seem, can do Like, it. what else do you need? Exactly. You know, you've got a heated Panoramic steering wheel. Panoramic sunroof, uh, Bluetooth, navigation, Bluetooth. leather seats. You got it. Um, even heated seats in the back, in the second row for folks. So, yeah, you know, Hyundai has, has always been about value, and value doesn't always mean the lowest price, and, and we're not the lowest price car maker anymore, but what we do strive to be is the highest value car maker. We want to have we want our consumers to, to look at Honey and say, that's a valuable product, and I want yeah. it. And one of the ways we communicate value is through 
our residual values. They're now among the highest in the industry. ALG last November said we were second in the industry of all brands, um, behind only Honda. Honda does a great job too. We're number two. We're ahead of all the other brands in residual value. Elantra is number one compact car. Azera is number one full size car. Yeah. And our Santa Fe Sport is already the number one compact car. Well, that's amazing because uh, if we think about, let's say, five, ten years ago, which in the auto industry is not very long. Yes. Hyundai wasn't in that position at all, not even looking close. That was not known as a Hyundai string, but we've really focused to make our cars better. They last longer. We've been very careful with our pricing, so they still have a strong value position. And now on the used car market, Hyundai's have become quite valuable. That's Excellent. great. And um, one final question about uh, the cars that you have in the market, and uh, I heard that you have having some problems with some inventory, some of your high-end models, which is a good problem to it's have. a good right? problem to have, yeah. The, the hardest cars for us to, to put customers in right now because of low inventory are Equus, our most expensive car, the Genesis. We're very short on the V8 engine Genesis. And our Genesis Coupe, our, uh, our, our sports car, is, is very, very hard to find these days. Also, Veloster Turbos. Um, so a lot very of our popular. really interesting premium cars and our fun-to-drive cars uh, we're having trouble supplying our dealers with enough of them. It's a good problem to have. Excellent, yeah. And um, I, I, I think the uh, Genesis Coupe is coming up for a new version already, right? Genesis Coupe, we've refreshed in the last year or so, so it'll be a while. But with Genesis Coupe, one of the cool things we do is we keep it fresh. So you can always look for something new every year from us on the Genesis Excellent. Coupe. Excellent. And something else at the New York Auto Show, I'm sure. And we've got a little <laughs> surprise at the New York Auto Show. You bet. Well, we'll see you there. Thank you very much again. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bueno, no se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de los nuevos Top Safety Picks del 2013 y una entrevista con mi colega Lauren Fix hablando de los consejos a la hora de comprar autos. Esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota. Thank <laughs> you.